Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Uh, I've got some sort of bad news really. I guess people might not uh, like to hear this, but uh, yeah, my wife sold all of my gaming stuff for £50, the whole lot. Uh, so I'm faced with finding something else to film, so I thought I'll start by repairing some kitchen appliances here. So as you can see, we've got a WMPG 742 Aquarius Plus. So the door handle's broken on this. Um, I mean, these things are better than retro gaming systems, I guess, anyway. You know, it's more practical. Uh, you're always going to make more money repairing these sort of things. So, uh, yeah, we'll get the door off. I'll take a look and see if we can fix the handle. So, the problem with this, uh, and there's lots of the videos like this on YouTube, but I thought I'd upload it because there's nothing with this exact same model. Um, and it could drive you nuts. You can't get the handle open. You know, it just won't open at all. Um, now, uh, other videos and things have suggested using string and that is exactly what you need to do. Uh, if we just put the camera back a bit here, what you need to do is just get a piece of string, try and pull it around the edge there. It can be quite difficult this, what you've got to do is just pull it to the sort of top and bottom here. Just keep pulling it like that, eventually it will come So in order to get the door open on this washing machine, the easiest thing to do is uh, just get a piece of string, wrap it around something just so that you can pull it like that, feed it around the edge, like that, because you catch this here, uh, pull it, and try and pull it towards you, not just away from the door. There really is a technique to doing this. A lot of the time you'll, you'll break the string, actually. Sometimes doing a bit of that actually can help as well. So as you can see, you just feed a piece of string like this. So to get inside this, just feed a piece of string like this uh, around the thing and pull it sort of towards you as well as away from the handle and it, you do need to mess around with this just a little bit sometimes because it can be pretty hard to get this I need to move your string uh, it's just to make sure you're on the catch can you see the handle moving? when the handle moves a little bit like that you know you're on the catch that's so it doesn't break Yeah, so several attempts can sometimes be required if your string is not thick enough. God's sake! So to get inside this, just get a piece of string feed it around the edge here like this, just top, you know, support it with pulling two different things here, let's say. So to get inside this, you can see I've got a knife here, I shouldn't be using a knife really, it's just something to support the string, piece of string like this, just fed down the side, get it in the right place so it's on the handle, and you know when you're in the right place, because when you pull, let's just try and feed that again. So feed your piece of string, down the gap there, um, and then sort of hold the two bits of string. I shouldn't be using a knife, I'll probably stab myself. But as you can see, can you see the handle moving a little bit? And if you just get this right, and hopefully the string won't break, there you go, door opened. So yeah, pain in the to get into, they really are. Your string, if there's anything like mine, will break like three or more times. Doubling it up might actually be an idea, um, although, if you get it too thick or too many strands of string there, you could get it stuck in there. But anyway, as you can see, I've got that open. So it really is just now a case of removing all the screws around here. Make sure when you take the front off, the glass doesn't fall off. Some people show taking the, 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 the whole door off here. Um, yeah, unscrewing these bolts and removing the door. To be honest, I can't bother. I'd rather just do it this way um, without taking the hinge off. So once all the screws have come out, just use a flat knife like this just to edge, you can get, you can separate the edge like that and it'll just clip off, can you see that? Just do that all the way around, make sure all the screws are out first. Uh, and then if we just move this around, you should be able to see here that the 
front part will separate now, should be able to pull this off. Just be careful because the glass part, when you've got it this way up like I have, the glass uh, centre here could just fall out. So put your hand on the inside here, just hold it, make sure it doesn't fall off. As you can see, we've got the outer part off there, pull the glass out of the way. So now I've got the door off, you can see it's this piece here, this is broken. Um, it really annoys me because, you know, these things are almost destructible design, you know, they're designed to fail. Uh, if you look at the supports, yeah, alright, they've, they've added, added these ridged supports here um, and here. But they're su such flimsy things, if that whole thing was a solid moulded piece, that would not break. You know, if, you, if, you, if this was extended out to here and came down from there down to here, uh, and the same on the other side, it wouldn't break. So, it's, you know, in my mind, that is designed to fail. These flimsy little supports around the side, uh, you know, it's the least amount of plastic they could have used. Um, so, yeah, a couple of options. I mean, I could replace the whole door. It's about £12.77 for, uh, not the door, the, the, the lever. If you look at the shape of the lever here, you'll see these on eBay for about £13 shipped. Um, and it comes with the bar and the spring. It doesn't come with this, this uh, cast, uh, catch here. Um, so yeah, I think in the meantime, before I order one, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get some epoxy, epoxy it down, that's not going to be enough on its own. But then I figure I could actually stick a screw straight through there, I might have to countersink it um, into the bottom piece, you know, the whole, you know, so the screw's going through the plastic into the underside there. Um, it might just help support it, it might last a bit longer. Um, but yeah, I mean it's brittle plastic this, so you've got to be careful, But I'm, so I might need to widen the hole wide enough for the, the screw that I use but yeah I'll take a look through my screws and just uh, see if I've got anything that's suitable. So a quick look at the old handle here you can see there's a screw there normally there isn't a screw I put a screw with the full length of that piece of plastic all the way down into the base but as you can see it's not held for any period of time at all even though I epoxied it as well I put epoxy all around it and up the sides and everything it's you know the epoxy doesn't always stay in position but um, and as you can see can you see if you look down the bottom there you can see where it's cracked again it's been pushed uh, this way um, so you know it's it's further to that side you know it's further locked so, you know normally it should be a little bit more um, like that there straight up you know that piece of plastic has moved so you can't epoxy these you can't put a screw through them damn near impossible really it's better just to replace it and uh, you get one like that a replacement one off eBay for 13 pounds or so so uh, yeah we'll have a go at sticking that on now um, it's pretty simple to do, you just put this piece down that way and I think the handle goes yeah, it goes like that, you can see the uh, bar just goes over the top of that piece of plastic there, that's it. So as I stick that back into the uh, other part of the door now that should be okay and we'll give it a try. So I put the glass part in approximately with that little notch up there and you've got to hold it this is the problem with doing it without taking the hinge off, you know, it could fall out, you don't want it to fall out because you will smash the glass. Uh, let's just put that back on there. Feed it through there. Now we might need to move the glass here just to get it aligned with a little notch on the inside. Let's just see. So that's all the screws back in, it's only took a minute, let's just see if it works, so door shut, door open, shut, open, so yeah, just be careful with these, it's like I say, it's very fragile the switch, I'm just wondering if assisting it in is the best way to do it from there on in, you know, as you shut the door, don't just slam it, so just push it really slowly and hinge it in, see the way I did that then, sort of, as you, you know, you put it to that point, it won't go in, lift the handle out until it the door shuts and then release the handle. That's it. The catch is, is in. That's probably the way to make it, uh, ex you know, to extend its life. The other thing I've done sometimes with things like this, where you get a part like this, where it's subject to damage, because you know these things are designed to fail. I mean, look at the little, the, you know, the little veins, these little plastic veins here. You know, you've got like four of them. Why is that not solid? 
why has it not come out to more of an angle to meet the edge of the case there where you know because it doesn't need to you only need that bit protruding it could be totally solid down there and it could be solid around the sides of it as well so sometimes with things like that or certainly on cars wherever bits of plastic like that break I will when I bought the new part I will reinforce all around it with epoxy um, you know um, and actually you know let's like say reinforce it so it doesn't break again but in this case I'm not going to bother I'm just going to just you know let's like say just be careful um, and just open and close the door um, in the same way that I've just shown there just to to push it forward flat hinge it out hinge it in that's it and then it's done so hopefully you found that interesting uh, as you can see you know the doors uh, working fine there no problems uh, what I might try and do is uh, just mod this at some point in future actually get a little LCD screen I could even maybe replace that if I could work out the logic behind driving the segments there I could perhaps replace it with uh, you know what's that about I don't know one and a half by three inch uh, screen there you know it's wide screen I guess maybe I could mod the drawer here and have a little covert compartment on the back to stick a Raspberry Pi in there or something uh, I keep my voice down just in case uh, yeah then maybe I could you know use the controls on the front here um, that would work as a good spinner for Arkanoid and things like that, maybe. Uh, so it would be limited. Yeah, I'd be limited with the controls and the buttons on here as to which kind of games I would be able to play on this. But yeah, anyway, hopefully you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.